The number one question apostolics are asked, why do you dress like that? If you've personally been asked this question and you've always been curious on how to answer it, continue watching the video all the way to the end and I promise you, you're gonna have a better understanding on how to answer this question. If this is something that interests you, continue watching. Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. Welcome back to the channel. If you are brand new, welcome. If you don't know, the purpose of this channel is I'm here to show you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in the divine way. If this is something that vibes with you, consider subscribing, hit bell notifications so you know exactly when I upload a video. And if at the end of the video you like the video, well, like the video does help out the algorithms here to promote this video. I'd really appreciate it. But hey, let's jump right into it. You know the question, why do you all dress like that? You've been asked this question before, right? And sometimes you may not know the answer, but in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can answer that. I'm gonna be telling you why people ask that question, what are some of the main verses they'll approach you with, and how you can combat that with the Word of God. But when speaking to other believers specifically, a lot of them will say this statement and i want you all to tell me if you've heard this statement before well god doesn't really care about your exterior experience he only cares about your inward he only cares about the heart now i know exactly where they get that verse from they get it from verse samuel 16 7. but if i read this verse just now and i read it just by the verse itself let's just observe and see if, if we can get why they think that but the Lord said to Samuel, do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Well, this verse by itself, it is very easy to see why people would say that, right? And you can make an entire doctrine that, yeah, God doesn't care about what you look like on the outside. He only cares about your heart. But like with every doctrine that is based off one verse, it is very important that we look at that verse in context. And the only way for you to do that is to know exactly what happened up until this point, up until chapter 16 of verse Samuel. To give you a cliff notes version, here's what's happened. The prophet Samuel is grieving and mourning over King Saul who has fallen and has lost his anointing. And in verse one of chapter 16, the Lord comes up to Samuel and says, how long are you gonna mourn over Saul, I've got another king chosen and I need you to go and anoint him for me. And so Samuel goes and we get to verse seven and we read that verse and you think that's it. But what happened in verse six? This is something that's very interesting. And once I read this verse, it's gonna completely change how verse seven is read. And verse six says this, when they arrived, Samuel took one look at Eliab and thought, surely this is the Lord's anointed. See, Samuel looked at one of Jesse's sons, Eliab, and I don't know if he had the most chiseled chin, if he had, if he was the most built, the most stocked, the most muscular, the highest, the tallest, the biggest. I don't know what he saw, but surely in Samuel's eyes, he said, surely this is the one the Lord has chosen to be the next anointed one. And then the Lord says, don't look on his outer appearance, right? Samuel, don't size him up on what you think the next king should look like, because though he may look a certain way, which God acknowledges it and realizes that's important, he does not have the heart to be the king of Israel. And then you read on down through and you end up finding it's David, a small shepherd boy, the smallest of the Jesse's sons, who ends up being king. So now that you know that, you realize, oh, okay, well, now I know that that verse can't be applied in our lives and that God really does care about our exterior. And I know that verse by itself will not answer that, but we can completely reject that verse in and by itself that God doesn't care about the outward and only cares about your inward. But let's go a step further. Let's talk about our appearance. You and I dress a certain way for a reason. Like, your appearance isn't everything, but it kind of is. And what do I mean by that? Well, you dress the way you dress based on what you've been taught. If you taught that short shorts and short skirts and, 
and and mini bikinis and and everything was completely okay and you could just show everything well that's the way you're going to dress but if you've been taught that the temple that you are the temple of the holy spirit and that inside marriage it's meant for one man to look on one woman and one woman to look on one man and no other eyes should be looking on what's underneath these clothings then you would realize that you do need to cover up yourself and so most people i'm talking to have some level of care for their appearance you dress and your appearance is based on how you want others to perceive you but if i could show you all how i dressed before i came to the apostolic faith i could tell you one thing i dressed not to please god but to please me to please my ego to please my pride i would dress to fit into a group I would dress purposely to not fit into a group and have more attention on me. But I was getting the wrong attention. And us apostolics, we don't dress to get attention for ourselves. We dress simply to glorify God. We dress in a way that is humble, respectful, submissive, to show that there's been a change in our life. And this is especially true for the ladies. More obvious for them. Why is that the case? Well, there has to be a reason behind it. Ladies, whether you like to admit it or not, you probably dress not to please yourself, but to please how others look at you. What do I mean by that? The more flashy that you dress, the more attention you're probably wanting for yourself. The less flashy you dress, the less attention you want on yourself. It's just natural. My wife even admits this, that she gets her confidence a lot from dressing to, to what I like. She'll ask me opinions all the time of what I think about this, what I think about that, because she wants to dress something that would please me. And she loves when I give her a compliment. She loves when a sister gives her a compliment. She gets confidence from that. Now, I'm not saying that should be the only reason why you dress, but I will say that she dresses modest. She dresses not to glorify herself, her curves, or anything like that. She dresses, she dresses to glorify God and to cover up herself and to respect our marriage. And you don't have to be married to, to dress like this. Dress like this before marriage and marriage will be a lot easier. But her statement, her appearance is saying, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and it needs to be respected. And I wanna give you all a visual on why I believe that the exterior is just as important as the interior of man. You and I can drive around our towns right now and we probably know what a church building looks like. Before you even look at signage and everything, you can tell some of the common features of what a church should look like. It's got brick. It's nicely mowed. It's uh, got a cross, maybe has a steeple. You know exactly without seeing any signage that that is a church. But what happens if you take that church and before you even know what the inside looks like, which you probably already have a good visual what it might look like, let's take that church and let's just start spraying graffiti over it. Let's just start putting barrels and dumps around it. Let's just start putting trash bags. Let's just start chiseling out some bricks. Does that look like a church now? No, it probably looks like a slump in Baltimore. But hold up, it's only the interior that matters, right? Well, no, I probably wouldn't approach that church anymore if I knew it looked like that. It's the exact same way when it comes to us and our appearance. God does care about the exterior because the more that we try to show ourselves off and leave nothing to the imagination, it's like us putting graffiti and, and trash and tattoos and, 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 and dirty stuff over us, right? We no longer reflect what the interior looks like. And though the church's interior has not changed, the exterior has changed and our perception of that church building now, our perception of how we look at each other has changed and God does take that into consideration. And I'm not saying that dressing nice or anything will get you saved. I'm not saying anything like that. So before I get any people typing in the comments, I completely rebuke that. What I am saying though, that if you truly love Christ, your exterior appearance, the way you dress will be a direct reflection of how God has changed you from the inside. I've always heard it best like this, in a good exterior appearance is the sign of an inward change in the inward or the interior appearance. Like I said, your appearance isn't everything, but it kind of is. So if you want me to go a little bit further into a historical or biblical 
basis of and explanation of why we dress exactly the way we dress, leave a comment down below. I'd love to answer that question. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. My name is Brother Mario. Peace.